Felines are finicky eaters, very picky eaters. Something tells me that you've probably heard that line, heard that expression long before you ever owned a cat. If you were to make a list of stereotypes, cats running hot and cold with respect to their meals would likely be in the top 10. In this material, I'll talk about the dietary habits of cats and why it can be rather common for cats to eat a bit less at times. Is it always normal and are there reasons to be concerned? I've got you covered. Stay tuned. With regards to today's topic question, the answer is a resounding yes. Most all cats will go through phases where they begin to eat less. However, the why factor is really what you're looking for in all of this, as it will not only give you a glimpse into your cat's current eating habits, but also shed some light on any larger factors that could be at play. Factors that go beyond simply being turned off or tired of the current meal routine. Question, does your cat spend time outside during the day? Even a half an hour or so? If your cat is eating a bit less in your presence, it could be possible that your pet is getting food elsewhere, perhaps as close as the house right next door. If your cat is eating less, yet is still carrying on that happy weight, let's call it, then another food source could be the reason. And while this reason is certainly not ideal, especially when you spend your hard-earned money on cat food, given all of the possibilities, this one, eh, well, it's okay in the grand scheme of things, and you'll soon realize why. Another reason for your cat's change in appetite could be born out of stress and anxiety. I've spoken many times here on this very channel about what changes in your cat's environment, even the most subtle changes, can do to your pet's emotional and mental state. If your cat is in the midst of a great period of stress, a lack of appetite could be just one of several symptoms. Have you moved, added a new piece of furniture to the home, perhaps added a new pet to the mix? Perhaps there's a new baby in the home. Any and all of these things could cause your cat to become stressed and very anxious. It's all about safety and security. And if that comes under threat, whether it's real or imagined, part of the suffering could involve your cat eating less. Another reason for the lack of regular food consumption, and this can often impact cats that are of senior status, and that is dental issues, mouth problems, periodontal disease, difficulty consuming dry food, perhaps difficulty swallowing, issues with your cat's gums, a loose tooth, that's also not totally out of the question, especially if your cat has recently sustained some level of head or facial trauma to some degree. And just like people, if the mouth is hurting, if those teeth are hurting, then mealtime can become a dreadful experience and something your cat will actively avoid if the pain is simply too much to handle. Another issue that can also impact cats, and especially cats of senior status, that is gastrointestinal issues and organ failure. Cats with kidney disease, liver disease, diabetes, and various types of gastrointestinal issues will become, over the course of time, less inclined to eat as much as they once did. Those routine vet visits are oh so critical at this stage in life, especially when your cat's living out those golden years. And as you can see, the reasons why your cat is consuming less at mealtime can range from the innocent and borderline trivial all the way up to something extremely critical. As an owner, before you jump to any harsh conclusions, do a bit of evaluating on your own. If you can't watch your cat eat all the time, and who can really, it's possible that your pet could be eating more than you think, or perhaps refusing to eat for reasons that are obvious, but you are simply not around to take a closer look. My advice to you for starters is to put your cat in a room, a small room all alone, just you and the cat, and the food, and the water, and the litter box. Make this last for a few hours. Stay long enough for hunger and curiosity to hit, in that environment with no other meal options, as in your neighbor's back porch, see what your cat decides to do. Will they say no to the food in that setting or will they indulge? This alone could tell you a lot. Another bit of investigating involves watching your cat closely when they do eat. Does your pet seem to favor one side of the mouth? Do they appear to be in pain? Is chewing a difficult task? If this is the case, your cat's lack of food consumption and the general lack of desire to eat could be traced back to some type of Issue regarding the mouth, the teeth, the gums, what have you? If you feel this is indeed the case, painful and difficult chewing to blame, inspect your cat's mouth. Bleeding gums, foul smell, yellow teeth? Do some investigating prior to taking your cat to the vet. 
the more that you can offer up to the professionals, the better everything will likely be across the board in terms of a positive resolution. And before I close things out for this topic, I'd also ask that you monitor your cat's overall behavior, not just the obvious lack of food consumption. Is your cat a bit lethargic, experiencing difficulty using the restroom? Is your cat also refusing to drink water in addition to the lack of food consumption? Be mindful of everything. Take in the big picture. And before I turn things over to you, uh, the wonderful and always supportive audience of Senior Cat Wellness, there's just one more thing that I'd like to mention, and I did it briefly in passing, but I guess the elephant in the room does involve the food itself, perhaps even through no very fault of your own. I started this video with the finicky eater stereotype, and it's common for some cats to simply fall out of love with certain meals, certain tastes, the textures of the meat. For all that I've mentioned here today, it is entirely possible that your cat is eating less simply because they've grown tired of the same old, same old. If you have a hunch that this is indeed the case, switch things up. Do this if for no other reason than to rule this out as one of the potential reasons as to why your cat is not eating as much as they once did. By switching things up, you'll likely get your answer one way or another. And now, to the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, is your cat eating a bit less than they once did? Have they entered those senior years and just don't have the appetite they once had? Or have you uncovered a real problem, whether it be stress, injury, disease, or something altogether different and perhaps unique? And how does your cat respond to food in general? Are you having to change things up on a regular basis? Or has your cat been more than content with the same meals for a very long time? Your stories, your comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and as always, I will talk to you later.